Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And uh, the floor is given to the defense teams for accused. First, Les you may proceed to the defense counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia. La défense de Nguyen Chia a la parole. Please hold ah, on, instant, uh, Mr. Copé. Maître Copé. Judge uh, Lavergne, La La but have, uh, have some questions to put to this uh, witness. Témoin. You may not proceed. Vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je ne serai pas très long. J'ai peut-être deux Mr. ou trois questions à poser I aux témoins. Be Bonjour, have, Monsieur. J'aimerais que vous nous disiez si, à votre connaissance, le barrage du 1er janvier a été le premier barrage qui a été construit sur la rivière Chinit ou euh, dans la région de, euh, du, de la province de Chinit, Camp Camponton. Camponton Est-ce que avant province. le barrage du 1er janvier, il y a eu d'autres barrages qui ont été construits, soit sur Were la barrage sur la rivière Chinit, soit à proximité either on the Chinit River or close to it in Kampontong province. Answer. Before the existence of the 1st January dams, there was another dam which, is, which was at the 30th September dam. However, I do not know Exactly about this uh, previous dam. Mais je n'ai pas d'autres informations par rapport à d'autres barrages. The first January dam uh, was built in 1978, so it was considered the second dam to be built. Et l'on estimait que c'était le deuxième barrage ainsi construit. Donc, l'autre barrage auquel vous avez fait allusion, le barrage du 30 septembre avait été construit après 1975 ou avant 1975. Le 30th September dam le barrage was built du 30 in after 1975. I learned that uh, the 30th uh, September dam uh, was built after 1975. In, uh, I learned about this in 1978 or 80 after the regime. après la chute du régime. On a beaucoup parlé pour la construction du barrage, des travaux qui consistaient à transporter de la terre et à, cre et à créer des, des digues en terre. Mais il me semble que pour les barrages, il fallait en plus qu'il y ait des ouvrages en béton. Et pour créer ces ouvrages en béton, il fallait du ciment ou éventuellement des matériaux en fer ou en acier. Est-ce que vous avez été témoin de la construction des ouvrages en béton Answer. Did not know how the, the dam was built. Je ne savais pas and quoi, uh, we comment les barrages knew only construits. what uh, we were doing at Tout our work site. I did not know where the semen or the iron steel materials uh, pas were taken le from. Béton, les barres de fer ou de métal. Et les Personne qui était affecté à la partie de l'ouvrage en béton. Est-ce que c'était des équipes de travailleurs spécialisés ou est-ce que c'était des travailleurs qui venaient des unités mobiles ou des villages environnants Est-ce que vous le savez 
who lived in the neighboring villages. Do you know anything about that? Answer. I heard that the strong, strong workers were selected and uh, put to work at that specific location mentioned by your honor. And uh, whether they were special like or technical teams, I have no idea. Mais je n'ai aucune idée d'éventuels techniciens ou personnes spécialisées qui seraient intervenues sur le chantier. Alors, peut-être que cette question vous a déjà été posée. Si c'est le cas, je m'en excuse, mais je n'ai pas le souvenir d'avoir entendu, de vous entendu à ce sujet. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous vous souvenez avoir vu des gens venir filmer les personnes travaillant sur le barrage du 1er janvier As for doing a video footage, I have no idea. Pour ce qui est d'un tournage de film, but I non, knew je that ai aucune idée. I heard that uh, delegates, senior delegates, dit, coming to participate in the inauguration ceremony, and I was told that uh, Chinese delegates who were also in attendance during that day. That, that is what I know. Donc vous, vous-même, le jour de l'inauguration, vous n'étiez pas présent à cette cérémonie. Uh, during the uh, inauguration ceremony, but because there were too many workers and I was uh, locating far behind and I only heard over the loudspeaker, I could not see anyone's uh, face, I mean the delegates' faces. Aucun visage, n'ai pas vu voir les visages des délégués. Vous avez parler des gens qui étaient malades sur le site et dans votre unité. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous décrire les principaux symptômes des maladies dont les personnes étaient atteintes sur le barrage Answer. For the sick in the unit or groups, most of them were sick with swelling uh, bodies or they had uh, dysenteries and diarrhea because they did not have enough salts to eat. Quand vous dites des œdèmes, ces œdèmes, ils étaient où oui, sur le corps Quelle partie du corps était, était touchée Which parts of the body were swollen Answer. When uh, we had not enough food to eat, uh, we can use... Lorsque nous ne mangeons we, pas we could use our fingers to press any parts of our body and we learned that the body was swelling as the result of lack of food. Et nous pouvions constater que nous souffrions d'œdèmes liés au manque de nourriture. Vous pouvez nous dire où vous aviez noté la présence d'œdèmes et Can quelles étaient les conséquences de ces œdèmes the presence of physiquement que ça, vous, ça entraînait des handicaps and what Quels were étaient the effects les, of such les effets de ces œdèmes Did they cause any handicaps and other effects 
If yes, what were those effects? Answer. General speaking, uh, no one uh, thought of everyone else. We has to take care of our own. When we were sick with swelling, so we would go to see a medic. There was a medic, and uh, there were no special, special um, medicines for all of us. And uh, we were prescribed with uh, the uh, rapid dropping medicines. J'ai bien, j'ai bien compris euh, ce que vous me disiez. I have indeed understood what you have said. Je n'ai pas bien compris quelles étaient les conséquences However, de ces œdèmes. Really Est-ce que ça situait au niveau des articulations Est-ce que ça empêchait les gens d'utiliser ces articulations au niveau des bras, des jambes, des coudes, des poignets Quels étaient les, les, les effets Elbows and wrists. What were the effects of those swellings? Answer. They had swellings because of lack of food. Les œdèmes étaient liés au manque de nourriture. People did not have uh, food to eat for a longer period of time, they would be suffered from swellings. And uh, the medicine perhaps could be used to treat uh, that kind of swelling. And if we, have, if we had had uh, more food to eat, so we would not have uh, had the swellings, and as d'odème. I said, uh, we did not care t- about the swellings as long as uh, we tried to work hard, and then uh, we could survive. De le plus dur pour Quelle était la proportion de travailleurs qui avaient des œdèmes? proportion of the workers suffered from edemas or swellings and other diseases. Les travailleurs, une partie des Was it all the workers, Toute some of the workers, a small proportion of the workers? Answer. There were 30 of us in the unit, and a few of them, three or four, had swellings because of lack of food. And I did not have the full graph of information. And De vue d'ensemble de la situation. Within uh, our group, uh, we could uh, clearly notice group, that uh, one individual had uh, swelling, and we could uh, tell each other d'edem. and uh, share that information. Les uns les autres et partager cette information. En dehors des œdèmes, vous avez parlé d'autres symptômes. Et vous Apart avez notamment parlé de personnes qui présentaient des diarrhées. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire un petit peu plus Quelles étaient les causes de ces diarrhées Vous avez une idée des causes de ces diarrhées Et nous les causes de ces diarrhées Spécifiquement les diarrhées. Answer. There was no hygiene in our meal. We would resort to anything to eat whenever we found it. We had whatever we found, three leaves, uh, the uh, rice, uh, palm fruits, 
or the even de, uh, the herbs. Du palmier, des herbes, du riz. Vous avez également dit qu'il y avait des travailleurs qui avaient des plaies. Est-ce que vous avez noté si des plaies s'étaient infectées et s'il si y avait des traitements pour euh, permettre de guérir des plaies infectées infectées Answer. As I told the chamber already, Comme je there déjà were dit no B12 or B6. Il avait uh, B6 ni and B12. we had only rabbit trapping medicines. And there was a liquid in uh, the bottle used at the medicine. Il y avait également du liquide qui était contenu dans des flacons. Ce liquide qui était contenu dans des flacons, est-ce que vous savez à quoi il correspondait et sous quelle forme il était administré Est-ce que c'était quelque chose que l'on buvait ou est-ce que c'était quelque chose qui était injecté we were told that uh, they were B12 and the liquid, liquid était du B12. So was used to inject us and uh, as for the uh, tablets uh, we would be prescribed uh, with uh, those Et tablets to drink. Et des comprimés pouvaient être également prescrits. Nous absorbions ces comprimés en absorbant le liquide en même temps. Qui procédait aux injections Who did or administered the injections? Those who were seriously ill were referred to Les gens qui étaient a hospital in the Sankat or the commune and there was also a mobile medic il y avait également in the unit. Et les gens de cette unité médicale mobile, est-ce qu'ils se déplaçaient sur le site pour venir faire des injections Mobile units have to move about on the site to administer the injections. Answer. The mobile medic uh, was stationed in a hall or a shelter and if anyone was sick and need the and need the medi uh, in need the injection, uh, this individual would be uh, told to go to the medic and receive the injection. That is what I learned at that time. Et est-ce que vous savez si l'unité mobile disposait and des équipements nécessaires pour stériliser les seringues utilisées pour faire les injections. Oui. Et comment ils procédaient à la stérilisation And how did they go about sterilizing the instruments? Answer the needles and syringes les aiguilles uh, et les seringues étaient mises à bouillir time. à chaque fois qu'elles étaient utilisées. Je vous remercie beaucoup, monsieur. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à vous poser. Thank you very much, sir. I have no further questions for you.
Your statement to the investigators of the investigating judge, uh, E3-5267, uh, on the very first page, English 0028-2351, French 0048-289, sorry, 2929, Khmer 0027-1403, you said that um, at the time of The liberation in 1975, uh, you were a student at the Lycée Tultumpung. Um, is that correct? And yet, if yes, um, what were you studying at the time? Is exact? And if yes, what were you studying at the time? Okay. Answer. In 1975, I was a student 1975, at the Lycée Tultumpong. I was in grade 3A in the modern uh, schooling system. I uh, do not recall the subject I was in at that time. Je ne plus nous And I was about to uh, attend the examinations at that time, but uh, there was liberation before the examination. Il y a eu la libération. Um, <coughs> I'm asking you this question because um, Je vous pose cette at that question same page parce que you told investigators page, that vous avez dit um, aux enquêteurs you at one point after 1979 became an official of the Kampong Tom Provincial Water Resources and uh, Meteorology Office. Au sein um, de, um, du bureau do you remember or do you know why you became an official um, in Kampong Tom? Did, was that related to your education uh, before 1975? Answer. In 1979 or 1980, I became a public servant in the agriculture office of Kampong Tom province. Dans la province de Kampong Tom. I did not have a full training at that time yet, but uh, I was elected to be a public servant in the agriculture Uh, of that province. And later on, I uh, moved to work in suite, the uh, Kampong Tom Provincial Water Resources and Meteorology Office. Et de météorologie de la province de Kampong Tom. I have received uh, trainings afterward, after 1979, limited trainings. Suivi and in which year did you become succinct. a provincial water resources uh, official in Kampong, in Kampong Tom? À Kampong Tom, vous avez travaillé donc pour le bureau de l'hydrologie de la météorologie. No. It was in 2000 the, the government established en 2000, the Ministry of uh, Water Resources and Water Resources and Meteorology Uh, et de la was uh, separated from the agriculture ministry in 2000. Um, a little bit down in, um, in the same statement, uh, English. Question. Dans cette même déposition, 0028-2354, French 0048-2932, and Khmer 0027-1407, you gave um, the following answer to a question. The question was, can you 
compare the old and the new dam systems. Si and then you answered, de and I quote, uh, from 1979 until 1990, we still use the old dam of Pol Pot. After 1990, the dam was damaged. Then the ministry became, uh, began restoration work. Beginning in 2000, a new project was created. Um, I'm particularly interested in um, the use of the dam between 1979 and 1990. Um, what can you tell us about the functioning of the dam in those years? Did the first January dam um, function properly? What is it that you can tell us about that? Answer. Réponse. After the fall of the regime in 1979, we still use the old dam because the old dam was literally uh, was destroyed a very little, and the dam was under the responsibility of. The Ministry of Agriculture, the office of that province came to be in charge of that old dam, and the dam was used to secure water for uh, some Tuk and Barai districts in Kampong Tom province. And, and was the water subsequently used? Um, for irrigation purposes de ce uh, a été in that area. Pour dans cette région? Answer. Réponse. There was one feeding canal Il y avait un canal in Barai district, and the water de can be uh, fed from that uh, canal uh, every day during uh, the rainy season. season and uh, the water can could be secured for Kampong Tmo, the whole Kampong Tmo uh, sub-district. And the water was also irrigated through uh, Son Tuk district. And uh, are you able to tell Question. whether after the, um, the dam came into, came into operation, si um, une fois que rice production ce barrage, um, by the farmers in that area increased? Dans cette région a augmenté. Answer. From 1979, the water could uh, be irrigated from the feeding canal for farmers to be used on a daily basis. And the dam was uh, very beneficial, and the water could be irrigated to the field and the uh, harvest appears to be good for example to the harvest uh, was about uh, three tons uh, per year or a bit lower than that and uh, when the feeding canal uh, became uh, shallower uh, the harvest yields uh, was less than that we received only 60 percent of uh, the yield um, and this um, rice production of three tons per hectare uh, was that achieved um, in 1979 1980 1981 etc in subsequent years Answer. 
We did not uh, conduct any uh, surveys, but uh, we observed the condition of uh, the uh, rice plants uh, itself, and des plans de riz. we did not uh, make any experiment, Nous I mean the mené technical experiment, but we observed the yield and the harvest uh, uh, by our own eyes. De nos propres yeux, le rendement is it, is it then fair for me to say that um, in the years between 1979 and 1990, um, the 1st January dam um, worked properly, did its job, made sure um, that water was irrigated um, and that the farmers could profit from it? aux agriculteurs de profi aux paysans de profiter de l'irrigation et de l'eau apportée par le barrage. Yes, that is correct. Exact, je crois. Um, you just mentioned in responding to questions of um, question. Vous venez de répondre Judge Laverne, aux questions de Judge Laverne. Um, a dam called the 30 Vous September Dam. Um, now we've also, we also know about a dam called the 6 January Dam. Or, um, nous avons également connaissance d'un barrage. Are these two separate dams or de are they the same? S'agit-il de deux barrages différents ou s'agit-il d'un seul et même barrage? The first January dam and the sixth January dam is simply a continuation of a long stretch of dam, and the total length is 60 kilometers. The 30 September dam is located separately in another district adjacent to Simri province. I see. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Now I would like to. Um, go back to um, the work at the dam site. Um, you said that you yourself worked for a period of uh, three months at the, at the dam. Um, did the same apply to the other members of your um, unit, uh, the other 32? or 31 members of your unit, did they all work a period of three months? Personally, I worked there for a shorter period of time since the chief of the cooperative made a request to the unit chief to have me transfer to work in the village. When the request was made, I was very scared. But I could not do anything, and he came to in person to make such a request. So I was then transferred to work in the village, and I didn't work fully at the first January Dam work site. Um, if it was not three months that you worked at the dam, would you be able to give an estimate as to how many um, weeks um, you worked uh, in total at the dam? I never thought of the number of days I worked there. However, I spent uh, quite uh, a rather long time working at the first January Dam work site. Although I did not uh, work there for a complete three month period, uh, I worked there for quite a long time, uh, maybe almost uh, for three months. 
peut-être même presque trois mois. And I did not think of the, the, the number of days I worked there as whenever I woke up I thought of uh, simply going to work. Je n'ai pas jour lorsque je me réveillais, je pensais simplement au fait que je devais aller travailler. So was it then only a, a few days, maybe one or two weeks, Donc um, that you left before the other members of your unit went back to the village? Le site du barrage pour rentrer au village que quelques jours avant les autres ouvriers, voire même une ou deux semaines avant les autres oubliés, ouvriers. The unit that I worked under remained there. Réponse, avec and I myself uh, attached to the unit. And as for the workers under the unit remains working for the unit until the fall of uh, the regime. In my case, it was uh, rather different as it was requested by the cooperative chief to return to work in the village. Question. Um, but the remaining people from your unit, the other 32 or 31, um, did they all work three months at the dam? And if yes, um, how did you know since you had left them at one point? Immediate after the three-month period, and that is after I returned to work in the village, I no longer knew what happened to that youth's unit. Um, when you were asked to leave, um, the unit and go back to the village. Um, do you know whether the other members of your unit um, knew where you were going? Were you able to tell them that you were asked to go to the village? For those people whom I worked uh, closely with, I told them that I was requested uh, for transfer by the corporate chief. I was rather concerned uh, with the request, however, I couldn't do anything, and I only told those people who were close to me about the request for transfer. Um, but is it fair to say that it turned out that you um, were concerned um, for nothing in, in terms of yourself? When someone was being requested to be transferred, that individual would have a rather big concern. Only upon the arrival at the destination, then, as in my case, it was a relief. I understand. Um, you spoke about um, a group of around 33 people, of which uh, you were a member. Um, yesterday, you also spoke about this group being part of a much larger uh, group consisting of a uh, thousand people. And in your statement to the investigators, you talked about five to six hundred people. Um, would you be able to give an estimate as to the total amount of uh, workers that your group was part of? Was it 600 or was it rather 1,000? 
Y avait-il 1000 personnes ou y avait-il plutôt 600 personnes Réponse pour la deuxième unité. The maximum des number of the workers there was between 500 to 600. Entre 500 et 600 personnes. So would it then be Question. correct for me to say that if there were around 600 workers divided into groups of uh, 33 members, that there were about 19 or 20 groups? Il y avait donc au total is that, is that a 19 à 20 groupes? proper calculation from me? I uh, cannot say for sure. However, I only uh, knew well about my personal unit and my chief of the unit. Um, I understand that your chief was called Lai. Um, were there then about, let's say, 17 or 18 chiefs like Lai? people who were leading uh, their unit, their respective units. I think it is uh, about right, uh, since there were uh, a lot of workers. The most important thing for members of the uh, unit was to remember the face of the unit chief uh, well. And is it correct to say that um, in terms of quota, in terms of work, you only, you and your uh, group members only had to deal with Lai. Lai was the person uh, who was giving instructions to you. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And the 33 members um, of your unit, um, were they all from the same village or were they coming from different villages? They came from uh, various uh, units or various villages, rather. And are you able Question. to tell which percentage of this um, group of or this unit of 33 people were old people, uh, and who were which percentage was consisting of new people? Ou plutôt, quelle était la proportion de une personne du peuple ancien par rapport et quelle était la proportion du, de personnes du peuple nouveau We do not know about that whether uh, there were more best people old people and in my case I only knew about a, a handful of workers whom I uh, was close to when you speak about a handful, you mean four or five, or six, or ten? Please uh, repeat your question. You spoke about uh, a handful of people within your uh, unit of 33 that you were close to. When you say a handful, do you, do you mean three, four or five people that you knew well? Yes, uh, that is about right. Do you remember the names of these three or four or five people um, that you were close to? Yes, I do. 
Could you give me their names? Pourriez-vous me donner leur nom? I only know them by their first name. Réponse. Je ne connais que leur Con, prénom. Con. Chun. Chun. Nay. Nay. Chen and uh, Ren. Et Ren. Two of whom died of Deux illness. Deux d'entre eux sont morts de maladie. Question. So these were the five people, five workers in your unit that you were close to. Merci, ce um, sont là les do you know whether they were old people or new people? De uh, these five de people that you just mentioned. Du peuple nouveau. They were 17 April people. We could not be friends with the best people. What about the other 28 people in your group? Um, I presume that you were not close to them. But are you able to tell whether they were new people or old people? We didn't know whether they were new people or old people since we were not close to them. However, from the appearance of the clothing they were wearing, we could make a conclusion. If they were wearing old, torn clothes, then it was likely that they were 17 April people. Du peuple du 17 avril. When your group Question. of 33, votre groupe, um, 33 was eating, membre, um, prenait, did everybody at the 1st repas, January Dam worksite get the same food? Tout le monde All 33 people were eating the same janvier, uh, portion of uh, gruel. C'est-à-dire les mêmes portions ration de bouillie. When we returned at the kitchen hall, Lorsque nous sommes we had to manage ourselves. Uh, for food, for example, in my case, I had my own uh, container and a spoon. Then we went to get food. And only the people at the kitchen knew who were old people or who were new people. And in my case, I only went there to receive the food and I ate the food. Um, um, but there were about five to six hundred workers. Did the people in the kitchen know of each person, uh, whether he or she was a new person or an old person? And if yes, how were they able to, to, to see that or to decide that? Et si oui, à quoi le savait-il ou comment était-il possible pour eux de faire la distinction? It is my understanding that Réponse. they recognize the, the difference by the uh, clothing. Je crois la différence if the uh, clothing was old 
and torn sí. and maybe your sleeves were torn off then they recognized that uh, they were 17 every people and if the uh, clothing was new it, it is likely that they were the best people I understand that that is how you thought at the time people were divided. But my question is, how do you know for certain that the kitchen people who gave food to the workers were able to make a distinction between um, new people and old people? As I just said, it is likely that they they noticed the difference by the clothing the workers were wearing. And another distinguisher sign is that old people usually were wearing a cap, while the, the new people were wearing head made from uh, palm leaves and uh, wearing scarf. Let, let me ask you a very concrete question. Did you ever see somebody in the kitchen give less food to a person than other people getting food because he or she was wearing old clothes or a cap? des haillons ou un certain type de couvre-chef. At the food distribution area, we had to wait uh, for uh, quite a, a long time. Assez longtemps. And of course, uh, because we were working there for quite some time together, they knew the difference longtemps. between the old people and the 17 April people. Entre les gens du 17 avril et les gens du de base. They usually noticed by the difference of the clothing, général, by the, vêtements, la the part of the dish that they use to uh, for Il soup, for instance. Uh, let me ask you differently, uh, Mr. Witness, and that's my last question on the subject. Did you ever hear in the loudspeakers um, Ankar giving, giving instructions to cooks uh, that they should give more food to new people, uh, sorry, to old people than uh, to, new, to uh, new people? No, there was not. Non. There was no such announcement. Il avait pas de la sorte. Um, <coughs> now I would like to go to the topic of this uh, special unit for lazy people. Um, do you know whether any of your unit members, any of your uh, 32 fellow unit members ever ended up in this special unit for lazy people? L'un d'entre eux s'est jamais retrouvé dans l'unité pour gens paresseux. No, uh, there was no such uh, transfer of any worker from my unit to that special unit. And when did this uh, special unit for lazy people start operating, start working? Um, was it after a while, after a few weeks, or was it there? Was this unit there from the very beginning um, when you arrived at the work site? I did not know when the, the special unit was formed. Je ne sais pas quand a été Only later spéciale. I uh, saw it and people talked tard. about this special unit. Et les gens 
question. But the, did you see this group of workers at the end of your approximately three months work Have or was it in the middle of your time? Can you be a little more specific? À quel moment? Au milieu de la période que vous avez passé là-bas, à la fin de la période que vous avez passé sur le site de travail, pourriez-vous être plus précis I do not get your question. Please uh, refresh it. Um, you were, were not quite sure as to when um, this special unit started working. My question is, was it more toward the end of your working time there, or was it roughly in the middle? Do you remember the first time that you saw a group of people apparently belonging to some special unit? It was slightly that the special uh, unit was formed only when some workers were considered lazy workers and they will be placed into the newly formed special unit in order to warn other workers. And I only learned that when we lined up in the morning to start work and people talk about that special unit. Um, I understand your answer, Mr. Witness, but when you say it's likely, um, you might be um, speculating. So I would like to ask you whether you know for sure um, when this unit was formed. I do not know for sure when that unit was established. As I worked in a separate unit and my main focus was on my work. Do you know whether this unit always had around 20 members or was this special unit smaller in the beginning after it was formed au moment de sa création as I said uh, at the beginning, more exhausted from overwork, and as a result, members of that group grew. Um, you said that you only spoke or that you were only close to about four or five people uh, within your unit and that you didn't speak to the remaining people from your unit. Um, is it correct to say that you also didn't speak to members of other units uh, working at the dam site? You that is uh, correct. Oui, Usually, I only spoke a few words uh, each général, day, and for the remaining of the day, I kept my mouth shut. Jour, temps, um, how is it then that you know that people were placed in a special unit um, because they were lazy? What was the source of your information? It 
Whereas the unit chief, uh, the conclusion of a, a working hour, uh, one day, the meeting was held, and the unit chief reminded us uh, to, to work hard, and he spoke about the special unit and its members. Did he also say how long people had to stay in this special unit for lazy people? Were they there for a few days or a few weeks? Do you know? The special unit continued to exist until the uh, continue to exist at the work site, and it was likely that uh, it remained uh, at the uh, cooperative. However, allow me to say uh, clearly that I had left uh, the work site earlier, although I presumed the special unit continued to exist. Again, Mr. Witness, um, please answer the questions only if you, if you know things. But my question was actually whether you know um, if the people placed in the unit were there, in this special unit, were there for a few, di few days only, or one day, or maybe a few weeks. Or permanently? Do you know anything about that? During the time that I worked there, I noticed the presence of the uh, workers in the special uh, unit, and I did not know for sure later on whether they were removed from the special unit. Um, Mr. President, I'm mindful of the clock. My last question in relation to this topic, uh, Mr. Witness, um, is my calculation correct when I say there are about 600 workers, um, around maximum 20 members in a special unit? Um, this would be about um, a few percent of the total amount of workers. Uh, in that special unit, is that correct? Total d'ouvriers, il n'y avait qu'un faible pourcentage qui constituait cette unité spéciale. Est-ce que ce calcul est exact? Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Copé, merci, Monsieur le Président. President, thank you, Council. Le Président, merci, Maître. L'heure est venue de faire la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et nous prendre à 13h30. Le Président, s'il vous plaît, veuillez vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et nous prendre à 13h30. Le Président, s'il vous plaît, veuillez vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et nous prendre à 13h30. Le Président, s'il vous plaît, veuillez vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et nous prendre à 13h30. Le Président, s'il vous plaît, veuillez vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et nous prendre à 13h30. Le Président, s'il vous plaît, veuillez vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et nous prendre à 13h30. Le Président, s'il vous plaît, veuillez vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause déjeuner. Nous allons lever l'audience, suspendre l'audience et